A warm welcome to a little trip around part of Northamptonshire. This is Earl Spencer country and uh, Diana, Princess Diana is buried here at Althorpe and uh, the little cycle ride we're going to do is to take us through Little Brinkton and Great Brinkton down through the village of Wilton and then Wilton Locks. A journey of about 11 miles on a beautiful summer day in 2006. I find that this year when I started cycling again at my ripe old age, sorry, ripe old young age, no ripe old, right, not, I keep saying this word old, it's not right is it? My young age of 39, it is a delight to cycle round the narrow country lanes of the beautiful Northamptonshire countryside. You just do not see the same things when you're driving in a car. And although uh, we take our bicycles, that's my friend Ernie and I, we take our bicycles in the car, we are very eager to stop the car in any village, unload the bikes, get on them and do a, just a little cycling tour of uh, anything between 10 and 20 miles. It doesn't matter if it takes one hour or five hours. It is just a sheer delight. The lovely thatched cottages, the blue sky, and people in villages are so friendly. You stop and have a chat, and um, you've always got the pubs to have a drink and a bite to eat. Just wonderful. Life is valuable. That is the vicarage at Brinkton and uh, there is the church where the service was held for Princess Diana when she passed away. It's always interesting to look at the plaques and mouldings on some walls. I think that one's about 1850. That makes it 156 years old. And look at the elaborate stonework over that gate. And look at the lovely uh, ornate windows in the roof, the dormy windows. And remember, when you're on your bike, please drive slowly. Always welcome when you see the uh, village sign that is decked with flowers. That is what I call extra effort. <laughs> and here we are at Wilton and this is in someone's garden. No, they don't move and the plane doesn't take off, but it's something a little bit different. And you can see these if you go into Wilton Churchyard. A 
Thomas Wilton Church. And to get from Wilton down to Wilton Locks is a very steep hill and the first time on my bike, which I've only had about five weeks to date, I did 30 miles an hour. I know that because I've got a speedo on it, but I don't want to do it again. It's a bit dangerous. <laughs> This uh, for the next couple of pictures is in memory of one of the canal boats of yesteryear. Of course I know you can't read all the print but um, it's just uh, a little memorial in a corner at the side of the locks. And I'll tell you what else is wonderful. You walk along a canal bank, all the people in the canal boats have a word, good day, how are you, it's a lovely day. Uh, people in villages all pass the time of day, other walkers and cyclists pass the time of day. If you're walking down into your town centre and walk in the local shopping centre, unless you know anybody personally, nobody speaks to anybody else. Why is it when we're out in the country we all chat to each other. Strange, but wonderful. And as we head from the canal back to the Brinktons, this is a lovely view or two over the Northamptonshire countryside. On a clear day, you can see for miles. Now don't go away, it's going to be a short pause and I'm going to take you in search of a windmill. Yes, it's in Warwickshire and I have been to Napton on the hill in my car and driven round three times and I could not find this windmill that you can see from the main road. So I took my bike in the car and then I cycled and I found this country lane that said to church only and up I went. I found the church. I found the church open and I found the views from the church on the hill absolutely stunning. It's always lovely to find a church open, so welcoming, 
and the lovely stained glass window and some churches have beautifully decorated organ pipes. Just a pleasure to see. This one here has a most unusual pulpit. When I came out of the church, I'm still searching for the windmill. And like I've said before, people in villages are so friendly. A lady walking a dog said, if you follow this track, you will come to the windmill. It's in private grounds next door to a private house. I rode in on my bicycle and was made most welcome and allowed to take these beautiful pictures. The house overlooks this bank and that was once a quarry You can see this windmill when you drive from Leamington and Southam back towards Daventry. So now we're going to take a little ride around Napton on the hill and um, we're also going to see some more canal boats. You've really got to keep your eyes open, you know, <laughs> to spot the unusual. I spotted those while I was talking to a lady who was waiting for a bus, and just down the road was this old caravan. Horse-drawn it would have been, wouldn't it? Is it just going to stand there and rot? I sincerely hope not. This is all round uh, Napton, the village green. We're down on the lower level now, and that is a memorial hall. And we're on our way now. We're gonna cycle down uh, past this lovely thatched cottage down to Napton Locks. Well, you've got to be careful here if you've got a trailer lorry, uh, you're liable to get caught on this humpback bridge which goes over the canal. I actually crossed this canal three times on my way to the next village and uh, each bridge there was a set of locks. Did you know you get quite a few people who have hired canal boats where one of either the husband or wife or one of the children get off the canal boat and walk along the canal path with the, with the boat so that they have the key to the lock and they are, they're there ready to either empty the lock or flood the lock as necessary to let the canal boat in. That is a old warehouse building that is. And these four people on this canal boat are actually from Germany. And this one has got the umbrella ups, sheltering from the beautiful summer sunshine. On my way now to the next village and here we have a rare breed of uh, cattle. And that one has been wallowing, wallowing in glorious mud, and it's not even a hippopotamus. Prior's Hardwick, 
I never know what I'm going to see in these villages, but this one was rather beautiful. Very nice village notice board there and uh, cottage behind. That's uh, showing the war memorial and the village green. Just across the road from there is some more cottages and uh, opposite the cottages stands the village church. Once again, I'm very pleased to say the church had its door open, welcoming me in. And uh, I always sign the guest book with my website address and I usually leave a pen with my website name on it. See, like I mentioned before, there's the decorated organ pipes. Right, we're coming back out of the church now and we're going down to the pub and then we'll be on our way to Prior's Marston. Lovely cottage garden flowers, can't beat them you know. <laughs> well does the ivy over this building keep it warm? I'm sure there's windows hidden behind all that ivy, there just must be. Maybe it's a kind of insulation. Friars Marston is quite a big village and um, very interesting, lovely buildings. No castle here, just that folly. That's another Wesleyan chapel. I uh, can't remember the date, it's a job to read there, but uh, in every, nearly every village had a Wesleyan chapel. And I came up here looking for the church and I knew if I found a pub, it would be near the church, naturally. So I saw the church just up the road, but I also saw this beautiful thatched cottage. I was told that once it was four cottages and it's all been converted into one. Here's the old village school, complete with its bell.
Well, we're going inside the church once again. I've got to say, it was a pleasure to find the door open. And I always think the bell pools make a wonderful picture. Lovely, colourful, and so does the stained glass. Very appealing. And I'm going to leave you on the road back to Napton on the Hill. Bye-bye.